Hallelujah. Psalm 71 verse 21. Read it with me please. It's projected one to read. Thou shalt increase my greatness. Uh-huh. And comfort me on every side. Read it like you're reading your testimony. Praise the Lord. We're in a season of lifting. And um, the Lord is doing a lot of mighty things already in the lives of people as individuals and as a ministry. And the Lord just impressed in my heart to share with us along this line because I believe that this is one of the graces that lifts the anointing that can take men to new dimensions. It will only happen when you believe. The Bible declares, blessed is she that believes he said for unto her not unto them unto her there shall be a performance hallelujah thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side it's one thing for your greatness to be increased but how many of you know that every time you rise in this kingdom success listen carefully i'm teaching now success has a side effect both to those who pray and seek your good and to those who will react as a result when you study the subject of success every time a man rises um, you realize that rising in life is warfare are we together because as you rise your rising destroys the excuses of people who probably would have given a reason as to why men cannot rise or should not rise and so naturally the side effect is that there will be untold battles battles from family members battles from colleagues and contemporaries even battles from mentors and those that you seek direction from are we together now when people rise um, the accolades and the claps that you receive is not all there is to the process so you you need to be comforted on every side for your rising to give you value just because a man looks at his son and gives him the coat of many colors and he goes innocently to testify not before his enemies his brothers here's what daddy did for me the brothers say oh so we are here taking care of sheep and then he gives one person out of all of us and they said let's kill him brothers conspiring most times you may not know how hostile human beings are until results begin to speak in your life every time you look like them there is no basis for fighting and quarreling for as long as the house has not been built for as long as you are a general man of god with no unusual dimension of grace it's acceptable you are friends to everyone for as long as you are at a financial level that resonates with your co-tenants or resonates with your core people no one will fight you so you will be deceived into thinking the world is such a peaceful place welcome to a world where people fight successful people from the day you announced that God gave me a job, all of a sudden your food is no longer sweet. All of a sudden your cloth has a problem. All of a sudden your greeting becomes sarcasm. That's the side effect of success. And so it says, thou shall increase my greatness. But because with every increase there are battles, Lord, don't leave me alone. Comfort me on every side. Don't just increase my greatness and leave me because there are certain levels of battles that can come to your life you will wish you never rose are we together have you seen people challenge you to a point that you say lord i i, I admire my yesterday i i didn't have money but i was peaceful i didn't have influence woe betide a man who rises without the help of god to sustain him there you will hate success hallelujah thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side comfort me on every side and so it is god's desire from the time that i i taught the lifter of men the the kinds of testimonies that have come already from that series not just within the local environment of the ministry here people whose lives have changed overnight 
and you know i taught us here that the anointing of the spirit is where his word is are we together not just his general word but his emphasis for a season are we together so if god is speaking as a healing god his anointing that will be present is the anointing to heal if god is speaking as a lifting god the anointing the anointing of the holy spirit will always be found where his word is if it looks like in a particular season you are not anointed or no longer as anointed as you want it may not be that you have backslidden it may have been that you have you have not found where the word is for the season because the word for the season is where the anointing for the season is that you were anointed yesterday does not mean that your anointing of yesterday will be relevant for today's challenge are we together god is in the business of lifting men and he's lifting us not just because um, we need to tell the world we are successful that's too small a reason to be lifted i told you that kingdom advance can only be possible under two conditions number one evangelism number two influence influence is important to enthrone christ within a sphere of human existence and so if we do not contend for influence if the only thing that happens to us is evangelism winning souls which is important and valuable then the church will not have a voice enough to institutionalize christ and his value system within society are we together it matters that the church not only has the word but have the voice to declare that word we must contend for the requisite level of influence that will make our words matter not only to fellow believers but to to every strata of human society business government media etc are you following me now so the subject of greatness is something that i want you to covet passionately we come from different backgrounds even christian backgrounds and some of us though well-meaning but have been erroneously indoctrinated into believing that any desire to want to rise to a position that is higher than than that which mediocrity affords is carnality and you shouldn't be interested in that let me tell you in the 21st century if you do not have a voice then there are certain things you cannot do for the kingdom are we together when it was time to bring a dream that will save the nation god searched around to look for who was from him and there was no believer who had the influence to do something about that dream so god had to make do with pharaoh god went to pharaoh and gave him the dream about the redemption of egypt and then God's people because Pharaoh was the only one who had the requisite influence to do something about it are we together there are certain levels of visions and revelations that you will never see no matter how you fast and pray because you do not have the influence to do anything about it are we together if God shows you something about a family that requires some kind of financial capability to solve their needs if you do not have the financial wherewithal you can only intercede so god will not waste his time bringing you that kind of dream he will find someone who has opened himself to that possibility in the kingdom and grant him access to that revelation because in seeing it he also has the ability to do something about it are we together it will no longer be that the church will buy a plot of land or plots of land and then the government will arise and seize it simply because everyone is in the church is spiritual anointed but with no voice jesus remained on the cross no influence could bring him down but a man called joseph of arimathea the bible called him a noble man he had both the political and financial power he went to caesar and demanded that jesus be brought down where would you keep him caesar said and he said no i have a virgin tomb and they took jesus and buried him there influence played a role in the salvation of our souls are we together now it matters 
that we rise to positions of kingdom influence thou shall increase give us that scripture please thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about why for the sake of your kingdom why for the sake of your glory for the sake of the advancement of your purposes thou shall increase my finances and comfort me round about thou shall increase the anointing upon my life and comfort me round about thou shall increase my sphere of influence thou shall increase my strategic alliances thou shall increase my voice thou shall increase the capacity my mind everything that needs to be increased should be increased in this season are we blessed and comfort me roundabout there are people here you are here seated many of the prayer requests that you are going to be submitting requires influence for it to be answered it doesn't just require God a man can answer that prayer are we together influence all you need is for someone to talk to someone to advocate for someone on your behalf and that whole prayer point that is giving you headache is solved in a moment it's amazing how influence can represent Christ in a moment in a twinkling of an eye a challenge that has held a family a nation a territory just within a moment greatness is powerful you will never be able to legislate on behalf of the kingdom if you do not contend for certain dimensions of greatness and influence hallelujah this is a very powerful scripture that should be your prayer request in this season there are pastors who are anointed they love god they have revelation but they have rejected kingdom influence and it has pegged them down peg their ministries peg everything about them let me tell you something about followership nobody wants to follow a man who is not growing nobody wants to follow a man who is not rising are we together now yes for as long as we continue to celebrate mediocrity for as long as we continue to allow ourselves to be um the bible says they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise for as long as we remain at the lowest levels in life let me tell you this we may keep feeling spiritual but there is very little god will be able to do with us it's true when you increase in greatness you give god space to find expression in and through you in this season god is passionately finding men who will embody influence with a heart for him so that he will be able to win people winning people one by one will not get the job done we need to win territories through influence are we together now yes islam is one of the fastest growing religion in europe and you will never see any city-wide crusade you will never see any venue being rented for any conference they are using one key everybody say influence because when a man is hungry you don't give him a bible when a man is hungry you put the gospel on a plate of a loaf of bread and give it to him that's the only way he can eat that he can receive it are we together you've heard me say it again and again by the grace of god i will never pastor a people who are spiritual but not influential both can go hand in hand now every time you are doing things that are new or out of the box you will be misunderstood because society is full of status quo and most of those those systems are largely founded upon mediocrity the average believer does not understand how the kingdom should be advanced they know how you should grow they know how you should rise they know how your spirit man should be strong but they don't know how the purposes of God should be institutionalized within a territory the subject of kingdom advance is seldom understood by many people very few people I tell you this with 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 no sense of, of um, criticism or whatever but even among us men of God there are very few people who understand kingdom advance we understand spiritual growth we understand the issues that concern our growth and character and so on and so forth but the issues that have to 
institutionalize Christ so that 30 years after now our children will still be rooted in the things of God we hardly have that understanding and living in the 21st century has shifted things we must learn how to shift we must learn how to be strategic in our approach hallelujah the message remains the same but the communication must be strategic enough to be able to represent Christ are we blessed thou shall increase my greatness before I continue I just feel we should pray this prayer in one minute I don't know what area listen greatness is a summation of excellence in many facets of your life some of us may be doing well in one area may be doing well in another area find the area where you know you cannot say you are experiencing greatness in and in one minute cry to God and say Lord visit me in this area go ahead pray with all your heart lord you have granted me access to revelations i thank you stepping over my finances lord you have helped me in the area of my finances but my spiritual life is crushing to pieces grant me grace you have granted me access to revelations but my mind my mind is barren i need a miracle in my mind increase my capacity understanding make sure you are praying this is the miracle service many of the challenges that we have in our lives are dependent on these things whether you are standing whether you are at the window whether you are everywhere following online just go ahead and connect don't allow the little inconveniences to distract you it's a very serious prayer everyone that asketh receiveth lord increase my greatness increase my greatness comfort me increase my greatness for the sake of my family members increase my greatness for the sake of the gospel increase my greatness for the sake of the ministry the church you have committed increase my greatness for the sake of the lost souls millions billions of them increase my greatness for the sake of having your purposes preserved within a territory hallelujah praise the lord are we blessed let me just talk about one key there are many but for tonight just to add to what i've shared just one key that can help us grow in greatness greatness is a system remember that the kingdom of god operates on mysteries and systems say after me mysteries say after me systems the kingdom of god is systemic god never does the same thing twice when he does a thing once he creates a system around it for continuity are we together he never created the plants and the animals twice he did it once and put a seed in it for reproduction he made one man one woman never to make another one again are we together there is a system so if your life is to excel it must be built on systems if your life is built on miracles as much as you are going to receive them miracles are a sign that something went wrong and the sovereignty of god is intervening to correct we were never designed to live off miracles listen very carefully if you live off miracles you will live a frustrated life we live off principles we live off the systems of the kingdom the systems of god create predictability they are an attestation to his justice the bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne never mistake a miracle to mean that's how god wants it to continue a miracle is a stepping in of god to correct something that shouldn't be you are working properly when your life is systemic are we together first corinthians chapter 4 please give us verse 1 and verse 2 let's talk about just one key here faithfulness see after me faithfulness second corinthians chapter 4 it says let a man so account of us as of the ministers of christ paul is speaking now and stewards paul uses a very interesting language not not owners he calls them stewards the word steward is the word caretaker caretakers of the mysteries of god 
number two it says moreover it is required in stewards if it is true that you are a steward there is a requirement and it says moreover it is required in stewards that a man whoever says he is a steward must exhibit a character called faithfulness faithfulness he says must be found faithful there are many people who may never rise beyond their current levels of influence their current financial level their levels of the anointing of revelation because they have other things but they lack this quality faithfulness in the kingdom you grow it looks simple but write it in the kingdom you grow and jesus grew in wisdom jesus grew in stature jesus grew in favor with god and with men we live in a time where we admire people's results every time we see uncommon results whether in the area of the anointing the demonstration of the spirit revelations influence etc every time we see that people are stepping into unusual levels of grace we don't admire the process we rather admire the results hallelujah i see people come to me and i know they are well-meaning and they just kneel down and say sir double portion of your anointing and i said look at what this guy is asking are we together it looks like a very that's why some of you came here probably to get a double portion the mother of james and john came to jesus and said jesus i have a request on behalf of my two sons you've been seeing them you've, you've you see how faithful they have been in your ministry would you grant because the way you are going you are going to overthrow caesar would you grant that when all is said and done let my kids sit at your left and right and jesus looked at her he never said it's an impossible request he said can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism two things one works internally the other one works externally but both must happen to qualify you the seat is vacant but can you drink this one is not a gift it's a reward are we together now one of the requirements is faithfulness there are pastors who will never rise beyond certain membership barrier because they are not faithful god gives you three members you look at them and feel they are not relevant at all are we together oh these members are not serious you are three all of you are broke none of you is smart none of you is working i'm the one who pays your transport what kind of useless membership is this and god is watching and then you admire another church with choice uh what do we call it choice membership this one is working in oil company i said this, these are the kind of members and we we have the effrontery to go back to the secret place and cry that god will find a way of drawing those people from that church to bring it to our church and god says look at this the kind of believers that are being produced within this region no understanding it is required in stewards in men of god in business people in young people in students in whatever dimension of life that you be faithful listen very carefully be faithful be faithful never follow a man who does not have a track record of growth you are only wasting your time no matter how flamboyant the results are it's a mirage anybody who stumbles into financial prosperity is joking is joking i repeat is joking anybody who just stumbles into the anointing is still joking anybody who stumbles into revelation is joking there must be a track record in life your track record is what gives value to your current stature faithfulness here's what jesus has to say about this luke chapter 16 please give us verse 10 to 12 jesus is teaching here luke chapter 16 10 to 12 he says he that is faithful listen now jesus is teaching here it was the the parable of of 
the unjust servant whose master was about to banish him and he went to reduce the bills for several people so that when he was banished he would now rush to them and jesus is using the opportunity to teach us something here that he that is faithful in that which is least is what he didn't say will be is already i can know whether you qualify for your next level in life by what you are doing with the current level is faithful also in much and he that is unjust please go back to verse 10 he that is unjust in the least is also unjust in much next verse 11 if therefore ye have not been faithful he's speaking in the context of resources now in unrighteous mammon your naira and kobo he says who will commit to you the true riches you know what the true riches are things that money cannot buy but can buy money true riches money itself is a commodity there is something that buys it true riches are you getting what i'm saying now in our world today if you have money you can buy everything but god is saying that money itself like you sell phones money is a product too there is something that can buy it it's called true riches so when god tests you let me tell you what this is saying let me use um let me bring out a thousand naira look at this this is one thousand naira do you know god can arrange favor come pastor femi i can see him already warming up to be a very can i mean look at the see how sharp he's looking praise the lord now watch this do you know that in your walk with god a time can come god can just open a door for you hundred thousand comes you are not rich this is unrighteous mammon he's testing you you are rich when he gives you what can buy this you are not rich if you have this this, this is nonsense anything can happen set this on fire you can't pack the ashes to court and say this was one thousand true riches is what can buy this product not shoe buy this this one so he's watching you and he gives you this and you are not faithful in it you misuse it you waste it the kingdom does not benefit from it he says no there is an anointing i can give you that will bring this you have not qualified i tested you with this and you failed are we together god can bring a relationship come god can bring a relationship to your life that you know you didn't even qualify for it is a test you misuse that relationship you take advantage of the people and you don't even max you don't value them and then all of a sudden you cannot be given the true riches that can buy greater relationships faithfulness is a powerful spiritual quality powerful spiritual quality many people are not faithful that's why they pray they fast oh god dry fast seven days 40 days lord give me more anointing give me this give me that and then one day god leads you to one old woman and god says take care of this woman your destiny is to walk in the healing ministry but he won't start by giving you the healing anointing he will start by creating compassion in you take care of this old woman and say oh god this old woman how much will i get from this woman i need something that i will shine so that from that shining to be on youtube and then it will be on all the social media platforms and up i go and god says you see that there's no faithfulness and while that is happening god is watching one young lady somewhere taking care of the woman mama are you okay and she's she's writing her promotion exams through faithfulness she may not know but she's walking herself to a realm of the anointing one day she'll finish taking care of that woman and say father thank you for the privilege my mother was never alive for me to be able to take care of her but thank you for giving me such an old woman and the heavens are open over that young lady a strange anointing comes upon her two years later that lady is walking in a dimension of the healing anointing that nobody can explain 
and people criticize where did this girl come from from nowhere i've told you there's nobody that comes out from nowhere that you are not aware of the training does not mean they were not trained there is nobody that comes out of nowhere it's a lie when you are in the cave of adulam it's a lonely place when you manifest people say aha this person is lucky no there's no luck in this thing is god speaking to us many of us god trusted us with finances we were not faithful many of us today if i tell you lift your prayer request now you will see prayer point one breakthrough prayer point two financial rest prayer point three financial favor it's still the same thing you are writing just different versions so that however god wants to answer it he should just answer it are we together lord increase in membership did you know while i was praying i was already set to come the rain started all i was doing i i found tears coming out of my eyes because i was thinking i said my god my god this these people now how 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 do we manage these people but many of you ah, they've come let them come you know you are the superstar when you think like that you will never rise don't forget that men may not know why you are looking at this but there is a God who has the all-seeing eye that looks at you and knows that this man of God should not rise. Are we together? Many of us want resources. As I've lifted this 1,000 now, many of you have been looking at it. You are not even hearing me again. Listen. You are not faithful if you are faithful is proof that you are a steward can god give you this and say let me have it back and you say lord it's yours it's proof of faithfulness lord after all it came from you i i you took me from nowhere soaking gary if you have given me this if you make a demand it goes there are many of you once your hands hold it it's only a need a secular need that will release it the voice of god has no right to make you release this and then you want lots of it and we keep joking that we are having dreams and seeing god is not stupid this system is very orderly once your heart is not with god you won't find anything are we together i've shared this story here once upon a time in this area then nobody knew me nobody i was invited to go and minister somewhere and just like it rained very heavily tonight i had prepared fasted prepared to go there and then the rain started and the people were expecting me and that time there was no protocol to come put umbrella etc all of these formalities that was how i i rolled my sleeves rolled my trouser and held my bible i started praying in tongues in the rain lord don't mind me being soaked just bless your people if your people are blessed i am satisfied are we together now i remember going there and then to make matters worse the church didn't even make arrangement for umbrella to receive me it was then steve strings who saw me from outside and collected he was also invited he collected an umbrella to run go and receive me outside when i came in they asked me to wait they had to shift some people in front to create space for me to come and sit down it looked painful it looked ego stinging but it was a test of faithfulness can you be faithful even when your reputation is being insulted not everybody will insult your reputation keep forbearing with those who don't value you then you will qualify for those who can value you there are some of you today you will go to minister somewhere they will disrespect you some of you are intelligent business people surrounded by those who have no value keep at what you are doing you will come to a point where god will bring you to people who can recognize the grace you carry and my goodness happy are you when you enter that season in your life where you are surrounded by those who have a recognition of what you carry and will be willing to bless my life was not always like this this ministry was not always like this the first crusade you see crowds everywhere and we're happy many of you who follow me on facebook 
uh, or follow follow the ministry uh, on facebook and follow what we are doing and you know all the crowds and the things that happen when every time i travel many people just see it and think it's just because he's anointed it's not just because i'm anointed with all humility what you are seeing is a product of many years of faithfulness i've shared with you our first crusade it never you see the secrets of men are in their stories don't just hear the story discern the message are we together i told you about our first crusade i think we're about 20 or so the entire crusade ground i'm not sure we're up to 50 the first crusade we prayed fasted organized when it was time to pray for the sick the whole team had the opportunity one-on-one -on -one. it was a test of faithfulness many of us do not want to start small as a student you want to wear the same cloth with a bank manager and so you open your gate wide for a devourer to come and rubbish your life and keep punishing you are we together there are men of God who start in ministry. Everybody they see is their colleague. Take it easy. Move gradually. No, I'm anointed. If not because of condition, don't I have a better revelation than Kenny? And God keeps you there. Say, stay there. I just caught a new revelation. There's nobody to hear you because there is no track record. You can look at a pastor who doesn't seem to have any serious revelation and wonder why God keeps him there. Faithfulness all he may say is god bless you god lift you god anoint you and then you are there in your pride and arrogance i just finished pieces in the book of ephesians and you remain there for many years is god speaking to us never be ashamed of the track record of faithfulness lord this is the level of grace that you have given me i am happy i am proud of it lord you have given me the anointing to clean chairs i know that you have called me to be an apostle to the nations but in this season my assignment is to clean chairs i receive the grace to do it faithfully not just to clean chairs and say kai oh god if not just people me cleaning chairs and god says that's it you see that and you'll never rise everybody say faithfulness say it again faithfulness matthew chapter 25 we're going to read three verses 21 23 and 29 thank you matthew 25 we're reading 21 23 and we're reading 29 i just want to show you something and then we'll begin to pray this was the parable of the talents five two and one talent and this to the one who had five his lord said unto him after being faithful he said well done good and what faithful servant thou has been faithful over a few things let me show you how greatness happens in the kingdom thou has been faithful over a few things what's your reward i will make thee ruler over many things when you are promoted in the kingdom many things happen to you one the anointing upon your life is multiplied number two your operation becomes easy number three god expands your self-influence to cause more people to hear your voice is a product of faithfulness you have been faithful over a few things i gave you a teaching anointing and i did not give you an anointing for miracles and you were not ashamed to teach the people as best as you knew to every time they ask you man of god why is it that we don't see miracles in your life be patient I'm coming I'm not ashamed to say God is bringing me there for now is the teaching grace he has given me I will teach I will make Bible study notes and God is saying this is a man who will not only be a good shepherd he will be a good manager of my anointing and one day that man comes to a meeting and all of a sudden an impartation comes upon him the dimension that has been absent is now supplied by the Spirit he goes back not just as a teacher but as a worker of miracles 23 to the man with the two talents he said his lord said unto him well done good and faithful servant same thing thou hast been faithful over a few things so it's not the size of what you were given the same commendation i will make thee ruler over many things let's go to 29 29 
for unto everyone that hath this is a mystery in the kingdom that when you have is a sign that you were a good manager and the reward is that he shall have what abundance of anything abundance here doesn't just talk of finance abundance of the anointing abundance of influence abundance of access to revelations and then it says but from him that hath and is not faithful now he says even that which he had shall be taken away it is not only satan that takes things away god too takes things away are we together now not every reduction is caused by demons there are reductions that are a testimony it's a report card from god to you that something is wrong with your stewardship when god increases you members rise today and mysteriously members just go down sometimes it could be that it's a message from god that i trusted you with 30 people and i observed your stewardship your stewardship does not merit multiplication you rise in finances and then sometimes you just go down never to rise again it could be a message that you need to upgrade on your stewardship you rise in influence and all of a sudden you find out within a season all your helpers are no longer there all the people whose voice who who listen to your voice and acknowledge your voice are no longer there it could be a sign that you are abusing the privilege of stewardship are we together the prayer that you need to pray in this season is for God to help you that whilst you are waiting for a supply of greater dimensions of his grace but that he grants you the fortitude to be faithful if God gives you 10 naira be faithful if God gives you one shoe polish it don't sit down running your eyes on every shoe and say don't worry except God is not my God I'm coming and and that shoe will say you are not coming this is not how to get me you get me by washing the one you have it's a rubber shoe wash it it's a 200 naira trouser wash it are we together now we live in a society that applauds people for living a fake life that claps for people for jumping seasons and as soon as they clap for you and as frequent as they clap for you that's the same way they will clap against you because every time you jump up you must go down but when you grow up you remain up the difference between jumping and growing is that you are still connected to your root when you jump you are suspended nothing backs you no support so you must come down when you grow up the tallest building in the world is still connected to the earth that's why it stands nothing suspended has an a, a, the ability to stay indefinitely when they send satellites to orbit the earth and orbit other planets and all of that after a time requirement because they are not connected to the earth they must be sent back planes don't fly indefinitely in the sky they get to a point where they must make contact with the earth again for some of you here this is your miracle service tonight the Lord is speaking to you you are living a fake life go back to the basics let me tell you this don't ever generalize success just because everybody around you is successful does not mean you are successful go back and learn the principles corporate success is deception are you hearing what I'm saying now we are all successful a day will come life will separate you and you stand as an individual and it will be a test of your values whether or not it's like a defense the way students do defense you will need to defend and validate your success any door god has not opened for me i'm not under pressure to go because when he opens it he will open it in honor do you know if god does not open a door your tenacity can force that door to open that you forced a door and it opened a man can go around with complimentary cards i'm a man of god i'm a gospel artist in fact you've not had anything like you just invite me and watch what happens 
you can go around and out of the 1000 invitations you beg for you may get one or two or three or four and you call it increase you see when you open the door by yourself you have to keep it open by yourself but when god opens it god when he opens it he keeps it by his own hand the hands that lifted me will uphold me to the end i will not be afraid there is a hand that lifted me will uphold me to the end i will not be hallelujah years ago i had a conversation we're about to pray with a gentleman and he asked me a very honest question he said apostle i've come for koinonia and i've seen the crowds of people and he asked a question he said can you reproduce these results and i said that's not me to answer you are asking time not me keep watching and i think two weeks ago he sent me a text you know just joking I'm, I'm just saying it and he's just sent a text and he said apostle you are dangerous i say i'm not dangerous the laws of god are dangerous it is not me it is the laws of god whoever will keep these truths it will work for you are you getting what i'm saying even if you are afraid of yourself trust his laws and watch them shock you and make a wonder out of your life brothers and sisters listen to me in a few minutes now we're going to begin to pray and many of you will stand and watch your life change as if it's magic it is not just because a man who is anointed is standing before you there is a system in the kingdom we make our boast first in the lord and then in the power of his might his might the power of his might the power that is released when his laws operate those who don't understand will look at these things and think it's boasting it's not boasting it's true the predictability of god's principles hallelujah i challenge you today that much more than the miracles you are receiving you must trust god to go back and say lord teach me your ways we reign in this kingdom we're about to pray now i want to show you a very dangerous scripture that god opened my eyes to brothers and sisters if god does not open your eyes to see how a thing works you may never know do you know that in every challenge that you have right now a way of escape is there but it takes god to open your eyes psalm 77 turn there let me show you something psalm 77 and verse 19 psalm 77 verse 19 give us from amplified if it's possible lion of judah my trust is in you alpha and omega my trust is in you i am that i am my trust is in you tonight i put them on you my trust is in you he says your way in delivering your people was through the sea listen carefully the same sea that was an obstacle he said their way of escape was inside that water inside that trouble he says and your path through the great waters how can you be in trouble and god says in that trouble that's where your answer is but it takes your eyes to see it god hides a formula in your pain and keeps it there until revelation opens you to it he says your way of delivering your people was through the sea the same sea he said that your path through the water yet you pass through it and cover it and nobody can trace your footsteps this one give us king james again it will take revelation for you to know how can i look at a water challenges and great waters he said thy way is in the sea 
in that rent challenge is a formula that can make you a landlord but it will take the spirit of revelation in that sickness that brought you to koinonia is hidden a mystery that can bring you into the healing anointing it says thy way is in the sea and thy path in the great waters and thy footsteps are not known god what kind of god are you you do something and cover it so no man can just look and say ah i ah. but when he opens your eyes all of a sudden you will discover that so the water can part i never knew and all of a sudden there will be dry ground and you walk to it and the egyptians will think and god will cover it and say i don't open it for everybody it is a way but not for everybody are we together these are some of the deep mysteries about the anointing sometimes you see me give you instructions that don't make sense shout jesus keep quiet it does you will try it and it won't work it's a mystery there is a way in it there is a pathway that when god opens your eyes to the systems of the kingdom then you can see things that don't make sense and make wonders out of them god is speaking to someone here that the prayer you are praying the answer is already within your environment all it takes is for your eyes to see Hagar was punished by Sarah. The Bible says she was in the wilderness dying of test. The young lad cried to heaven. When an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw an oasis bringing water. The water was there but her eyes could not see. The ways of God. And let me tell you, this is why we come to, how, to the house of God. Because there is something about the corporate gathering of God. Give us verse 13 of the same scripture. Give us verse 13 of the same scripture. Go ahead and read. Thy ways, O God, where is it? Is found in your sanctuary. When we come here, it says in your sanctuary, in your house, you have, you have ordained a place that when we meet, you will show us a way. When God put this miracle service and called this ministry and put all of these things, it's not just a ritual. There is a mystery about the sanctuary he has ordained. That every time you come before God, he must open a way. So don't carry your challenges and come and you are wondering and say, I went to every church. I don't know what the church you went to believe. But in this sanctuary, there is a way there is a way i dare to tell you there is a way man of god i have been in i've gone everywhere with all due respect i don't know where you went to but there is a way in the sanctuary solomon dedicated a place and said lord let me tie a covenant to this sanctuary if any man prays and turns this direction not for the sake of their faith for the covenant in this place answer them when they were about to kill daniel in the days of that of, of nebuchadnezzar daniel opened the gate and faced jerusalem he, he was afraid he couldn't depend on his faith he opened the door and said lord i engage the covenant that covenant that solomon made with the temple in jerusalem it is not only a man that can bring miracles a place can be anointed to birth miracles it was in a place that jacob went to sleep he never met a man but he met a place and that night the heavens were open and he saw a ladder that connected the heavens he said this is the house of god this is the gates of heaven tonight i want to stir up faith many of you have come you have made sacrifices pastor femi thank you thank you so so much praise the lord many of you have come from several places you have made sacrifices please don't come here wasting your time and don't come here wondering let's see what god will do already i can answer you you won't get anything already let me let me be honest with you because god is not a magician but there are people that come here determined and say lord i have seen you in this place i can't go back this way that something must shift in my life something must change in my life not all of you may be trusting god for sickness for healing you know but many of us are trusting god for one thing or the other i'd like you to believe 
there is a way in the sea i bring you a word there is a way this kingdom operates by mysteries the bible says there is no temptation given but that which is common to man you are not the first to have house rent issue you are not the first to have financial issues listen carefully you are not the first to have academic issues you are not the first to have excuse me spiritual issues you are not the first but though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. That's a part of this song I like. Though we are few, there are witnesses. There are people who have been healed. There are people who God changed their lives overnight. There may not be many, but they are on earth. Testifiers of His faithfulness. As a testament that if God did it before, he can do it again. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Oh, is the Lord. Oh, is the Lord. Listen. It is our confidence in God and our confidence in his ways that gives us the audacity to gather people and say come he will change you without the presence of god and access to the ways of god we are we are scammers we are not we are not just liars we are scammers why do you gather people and tell them come we dare you to come we call a solemn assembly not only because we know god by the privilege of his grace we have found grace with him and he has made us stewards of the mysteries ephesians chapter 3 this will be the last scripture ephesians chapter 3 verse 2 from verse 2 it says if ye have heard paul is speaking of the dispensation of grace of the grace of god which is given me to you word for your sake how that by revelation verse 3 he made known unto me how did paul know it by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby when you read another word is whereby when you experience it you may know the basis he may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ verse 5 a mystery that has been hidden in other ages let me tell you some of the things we are doing although they are spiritual although they are biblical they are mysteries that have been hidden they are there the same way many people swam through the red sea although there was a way it took a generation of men to be open to that mystery there are many mysteries that control results that have not been routed by many but the bible says that in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets how by the spirit by the spirit it was a revelation that god gave me that people write their requests and come and drop here it's not something that i copied from anywhere it's a revelation stupid though but look at the testimonies that have come out from it are we blessed now god's servant bishop david oyedeko was given the revelation of feet worship a revelation that had not been known to anybody people read it and all of a sudden the testimonies that come out of it people had communion people take communion in orthodox churches and different churches and just take it even while they are drunk but somebody came with a light about communion and all of a sudden people take communion now and cancers just die there are mysteries brothers and sisters there are many people that never knew that the house of god is powerful praise the lord are we together so you must understand that God in this season wants to shift you but he won't just shift you just by saying shift there are mysteries tonight I bring you a word 
there is a way in the sea hallelujah there is a way there is a way there is something god can do about your finances there's something god can do about your family situation you left fire on the mountain and came back you wait until the red sea parts and god will rubbish pharaoh tonight in your presence rise up on your feet begin to thank the lord for what you have heard tonight Cry for the grace to be faithful. Go ahead. Cry for the grace to be faithful. Cry for the grace to be faithful. Lord, grant me the grace to be faithful. Grant me the grace to stay as you lift me. Grant me the grace not to rush seasons in my life grant me the grace grant me the grace hallelujah just pray one prayer lord change my story visit me tonight lift your voice and pray pray with faith change my story visit me visit me tonight hallelujah tonight is an unusual service because time has gone we're going to be very very fast very very fast at that um, like I told us we're going to start praying for the sick we'll start by praying for the sick and um, now this is how we're going to do it because of because of those of you outside don't worry you don't worry wherever you are you will be attended to are we together you will be attended to so hold on before i ask the people to come you don't have to just cooperate with the ushers if they need you to do anything just just it's a temporary inconvenience we're doing this just to be able to manage time and to do all that we have to do hallelujah praise the lord now please hold on let's let's not be distracted those of us who are trusting God for healing is a miracle service. It's not just limited to healing, but we're going to pray for the sick now. Now, we're going to do this very fast. And um, please, those that will be ministering, let's, let's do it very fast. It's not in how long... Listen, let me tell you something about the anointing. It's not just in how long you are touched or the frequency. Just a touch is enough for the anointing. The same way a small drug can step into your body and that's it the wonders are done i'd like you to believe god to touch you change your life whether it's a blood disease whatever it is let's agree with you hallelujah we'll do that very very fast while we are doing that please um if you have come with your requests ushers um please help them pr department you can join them protocol let's just join and see how we can make this very fast so that at the same time we are collecting the prayer requests remember it's not a ritual um, when it's time when they come to you you can hand over the request if you are yet to write yours you can quickly do that those online following us from whatever nation you can just connect your requests are already there and we're praying the power of God will touch it there too hallelujah praise the Lord please I like you to be very intentional I know that most times we do this at the miracle services but be careful lest you make a ritual out of this and then at the same time waste your time i have seen the power and the glory of god um, upon my life and upon this ministry in in ways that that are humbling in ways that are powerful expected testimony please refuse that you're not going back the way you came no matter what the medical situation is 
remember i told you there is a way in the sea there is a way hallelujah when i do that um we'll finish it and then we can now minister deliverance and just prophesy so that we are able to make time praise the lord father we are gathered tonight by your wisdom and your power lord we're about to minister to those who are sick and lord we trust your power to heal we trust your power to heal to the uttermost in the name of jesus anoint my hands anoint every man and woman of god who will be ministering to the sick let there be the hearing of faith let there be the working of miracles do this and glorify yourself in the name of jesus christ praise the lord uh, father we give you all the praise let your power flow let miracles begin in this place we give you all the praise we give you all the honor in the name of jesus christ i pray amen Please make sure that while you submit your prayer request, be in the attitude of prayer. If I were you, I'll be praying in the spirit. Don't be distracted just because we are taking our time to pray for the sea. God bless. Deserve the glory and the honor. So we lift our hearts and worship as we bless your holy name. Yes, you deserve the glory. Yeah. The honor. Yes, Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we praise your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great. Yes, there is no one else. There is no one else like you Yes, you are great And you do miracles so great Oh, there is no one else like you Oh, there is no one else like you Sing, you deserve the glory. Say, you deserve the glory and the honor, Lord, and the honor. So we lift our hands, so we lift our hands and words as we praise. As we praise oh, 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 yes, you deserve the glory. we worship tonight so we lift our hands and worship as we pray your holy name give you your You are great. You do miracles. 
every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, say your place. Let every other name fade away.
after me in the name of Jesus we are praying now please we are praying say in the name of Jesus shout it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that every force from the pit of hell standing against my lifting tonight I challenge you lift your voice and begin to pray everyone Every force, every force, nothing will stop your lifting. This is a season of lifting in the name of Jesus. Say, I pray, every song shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Say in the name of Jesus, every recurrent pattern in my life right now, I declare you destroyed. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Challenge every recurrent pattern by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Every recurrent pattern in the name of Jesus. Every recurrent pattern. In the name of Jesus, say after me, in the name of Jesus, every dimension of grace apportioned for me tonight, I declare that I must step into it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every dimension of grace, every dimension of grace, Kabala Koshabala. Shedavala Navarro to Supra de Galia. Anabaro to Supra de Galia. Every dimension. Nekatabara Kato Shabababala Kata. Karote Sedekete Negos. Embracato sakata kata 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 Sheke teke 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 Embraka papa kato patu sheke diash Sana balada bali katos Kepranda kato shala katos Sheke teke 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 Make sure you are praying every dimension Every dimension Every dimension Say in the name of Jesus, Father, let your fire fall upon my life, upon my family, and destroy every planting that is not of God. Lift your voice and pray. Let your fire, the visitation of your fire, the visitation of your fire upon my life. Upon my life, pray. Shake a bacatola bacatos. Emprato Shabarakotes. Let your fire fall. Skabatakatoka Shakete Balanakata. Upon my life, let your fire bring a separation. Lift 
your hands I'm about to pray for you now we are never doing the same thing every time I rebuke devils there are lives and destinies that are under the yokes of darkness it's time for the devil to give up are we together are you ready to shout that name that is above all names let me tell you I want you to be childlike tonight and just follow these instructions and watch the wonder working power of God in your life at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus everywhere and as you shout that name the sword of the Lord will pierce through every root of every challenge and begin to command victory for you are we together now especially for those of you who are coming here for the first time I'm ministering deliverance now every yoke of darkness that has tied anyone's life as you shout this name may the visitation of that fire are you ready now one two three I command the fire the fire of the spirit bring them up the fire of the Holy Ghost right now every altar and everything every high thing that is not of God I curse you now I curse you now I curse you now hallelujah I think the ground is good enough you can bring them in the name of Jesus I'm praying now I'm still praying anyone's destiny that is under siege right now I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus I'm seeing I'm seeing like bolts of fire falling on people if it falls on you your destiny is opening up Lord where are they I stretch my hands may the visitation of fire open destinies now shake it katakata open destinies now open destinies now inside outside open destinies now open destinies now hallelujah i'm seeing a horn and i'm seeing fire burning it please be sensitive this is a symbol of authorities that sit over lives and families he said in Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 what yes thou he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem against Judah so that no man does lift his head he said but I have sent four carpenters lift your heads I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus the fire of God is falling on people inside and outside in the name of Jesus anyone here shall sekatos kabariakata under any kind of demonic siege at the count of three that horn that symbol of authority that has tied your family that has tied your life it is uprooted one two three i release that fire now i release that fire now i release that fire now by the anointing of the holy ghost I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost anyone here whose life is under siege be delivered now hallelujah the Lord wants to visit the issue of barrenness but then he's using physical barrenness as a prophetic symbol for productivity so that you are not surprised if you are a man and the anointing still visits you the womb is the place where seed is planted that womb can be anything a woman's womb is just a type and a shadow of a system of increase there are people a barren woman is a woman whose womb cannot receive and multiply seed the way it is physically that's how it is spiritually you receive the word but it never produces it's barrenness you receive finances but it never multiplies it's barrenness lift your hands as i pray listen many people many people are going to be delivered from just this prayer you will be surprised to know that many of your requests are tied to this one prayer lift your hands i'm praying now that in the name of jesus ah, 
I tell you, all I see is just fire. That's what I'm seeing. Every spirit responsible for barrenness in anyone's life right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I declare be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Overflow one. I'm seeing three people. I'm praying now. I know because of time we can't let you come in. But I'm seeing three people. Two are ladies. One is a gentleman. This prayer is for you. There is an anointing as I'm speaking that is coming. Overflow one on people outside. The Lord is bringing massive deliverance. Barrenness is a dangerous thing. Listen. Whatever you give a barren person is as well as wasting your time. Because it cannot grow it cannot multiply jesus saw the fig tree it was taken from the earth taken from the earth but it was not producing in the name of jesus i'm still praying that prayer again that any life here that satan has rendered barren i stand by the anointing of the holy ghost and i decree and declare be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness. Hallelujah. Kemi, who is Kemi? Kemi. Um, I may not, maybe I may just talk to one or two people. Kemi, you are wearing red. It's like it's a guy called Kemi. Who is that? You are wearing red. What's your name? Uh -uh. I didn't. I'm saying this is. I'm saying I know that Ken is a lady's name. It's not a guy. I will pray for you. It's your hunger. This is. You are wearing red. What's your name? Your name is Kemi. Yes, sir. You are wearing red. I'll pray for you. But gentlemen, you are here. There is a hunger that you carry. Listen. You came from. Ah, uh, I'm seeing Cross River. Yeah? Yes, cross river cross river cross river you yes, sir. Came. Yes, sir. the lord is saying i should tell you listen to me yes, you came because of a hunger yes, sir. to truly get an anointing yes, but you see this message i preached was for you yes, you heard what i'm saying yes, this running around to want to do ministry by force is not the way it works the lord himself he will give you an anointing but he will give you direction what you need is an encounter with the word and direction but you will never go back the same receive that anointing a new dimension a new season my dear there is a spirit of prophecy upon your life in the name of jesus christ i stir up that spirit that dimension i open you to a realm where you begin to see and hear the sounds of the spirit in the name of jesus as i'm praying this i'm seeing number 11 the same thing that came on this lady the anointing of the spirit is looking for 11 people there is the spirit of prophecy. Where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Eleven people. Eleven people scattered inside and outside. In the name that is above all names. Receive that spirit. You need it. I stir it up from your spirit man. I stir it up from your spirit man. The grace for prophecy. Makatos Kabarakata. Sons and daughters. Stepping into dimensions of prophecy some of you you have only had dreams only dreams but i shift you to dimensions of visions prophetic visions you will never be the same i'm still praying this i'm still praying this there are people this is your call but no anointing has ever stirred it in the name of jesus i shift you in the spirit into that anointing the very anointing the seat of the prophetic i move you by grace in the name of jesus christ i activate it i activate it that dimension i'm praying i don't know why god is moving this way there are people the call of god is upon your life but you don't know it you don't know that the call of god is upon your life but tonight as a token 
the spirit of God is visiting you whether you know it or not Lord where are they I stretch my hands now if the hand and the mandate of God is upon your life for your destiny in the area of the fivefold I declare let the anointing of the spirit locate you as it locates you the Lord begins to prepare you where are they receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace Abaraka toka 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 ta Shabenda salaba seketa subria katali katosh Hallelujah There is a dangerous spirit Our time is up, hold on But there is a spirit that I want to rebuke now I just saw written in the air Rejection, hold on many of you do not know the reason why good things never reach you you stand you are watching and an opportunity come rejection is not just a state it's a spirit lift your hands don't pray don't do anything just lift your hands hallelujah that's the instruction the lord is giving me just lift your hands just do what i'm asking you to do in the name of jesus many of you will be surprised now there are people it's like a yoke I'm seeing like cowries, these cowries that they use. That's what I'm seeing. And in the name of Jesus Christ, as the power of God is smashing that rubbish, that's how many people who have been despised, been despised. The Bible says where you have been forsaken so that no man passes through you. It says you become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Right now, I stretch my hands from the front to the back. Overflow one, two, three the roadside and online if there is anyone here under the siege of the spirit of rejection right now in the name of jesus in this silence may the anointing of the spirit begin to bring deliverance right now i'm praying it's happening right now taking away that spirit from your life please be sensitive we are doing a quick walk rejection 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost rejection i command that spirit to leave i'm still praying i command that spirit to leave i command that spirit to leave alongside with this there are people bad luck good things must always turn to evil when it hold, when it enters your hand no matter what it is if they give you money something must go bad a good opportunity it must be destroyed you enter a relationship something must happen i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is under this kind of siege here at this miracle service fire 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 i release the fire of the spirit right now from the front to the back inside outside I command your deliverance right now. I command your deliverance right now. I command your deliverance right now. Keep your hands lifted and pray. Mighty things are happening in the spirit. I ask us to pray a prayer that the Lord put in my heart. Patterns. I'm still seeing it again. There are some of you, the same thing happens to every member of your family. At certain seasons, everything must happen. Either somebody dies or someone doesn't marry straight and correct. You must have a child before you get married. Or something, someone will rape you. Someone raped your mother. Someone will rape some kind of nonsense patterns. In the name of Jesus. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Lord, I pray that as your people shout that name, every pattern that happened to the fathers that is about to replay itself in the life of your people let it be broken at the count of three one two three i declare those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now hallelujah the spirit of delay god is taking delay from someone's life that's what i'm seeing god is taking delay i'm seeing it going delay delay 
delay not everybody but i'm seeing god is it will surprise you after this miracle service the kind of speed that your life will enter delay hallelujah my dear come this come this is your first time here where are you coming from you're coming from abuja yes, i want to pray for you you had the prayer i just said we should pray yes. that prayer was was for you don't be embarrassed eh? there is a spirit of delay that must live your life you're a great lady but i see delay come it's a demonic spirit and if you are not delivered and you get up and go to abuja just like that it will be as if you did not come before the presence of god but i lay my hands upon your head and in the name of jesus christ the spirit of delay i call you by name let this lady go now by the anointing of the holy spirit go now live her life forever in the name of jesus that lady wearing lime cloth you this one come quickly please look at me salvation has come to your family the month of june look at me the month of june i'm prophesying by the spirit is the month for your family the lord is saying i should tell you he's changing everything everything completely by the spirit of the living god he's changing everything by the spirit of the living god he's changing everything by the spirit of the living god i'm hearing a name doris i'm hearing a name doris doris who is doris i'm hearing a name doris doris are you doris your name is doris i'm going to pray for you your name too is doris that's your baby i will pray for you look at me look at me shout jesus Yeah, look at me. Witchcraft. I'm stretched. The Lord is just saying I should stretch my hands in front of you. I stretch my hands and I declare. I'm seeing an altar catching fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it by the Spirit. I stretch my hands. That's what the Lord is saying I should do. I stretch my hands. It catches fire now. Oh. oh, oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Doris, look at me. Where are you coming from? I'm from Congo. From Congo. Hold my hands. Say shame and reproach. Shame and reproach is taken from my life. Is taken from my life forever. Forever. Say it again. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to me. Shame and reproach is taken from your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, shame and reproach is taken. From, hold on, I'm not done with that. I decree and declare that shame and reproach is taken from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's father has not been paid for 11 years. I'm seeing, I don't know what the condition is, but I'm seeing at, at 11 years or so your father has not been paid it's something they have been pursuing please make sure you are honest who is that come your dad where is he mm -hmm. Lagos. you too where is he do you believe that if i pray for you a miracle will happen let's pray father in the name of jesus we make it happen by the spirit of the living god 
I decree and declare that between now and the next 90 days, let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all coming? Your parents. No, don't. I, if, if I pray, most of you, is not, it's not that word. You are just coming just because you want. It may be related in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm just praying for you. As I'm touching you. You see, let me, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. You see this touch, you see. This touch, just this touch, you see. There is power in it. It's just that we are very carnal people. Do you understand? After service, you can hug me and jump on me. But now, what is on me is what makes this touch different. You see that? You can, you can have... It's not just a touch, maybe a touch for jamboree. No, 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 no. no. You can, I can lay my hands on you, right? And then something can come upon you i can lay my hands upon you and then your life will change sometimes you see me just speak and you think it, as as i pray like this you see watch your life and see what it becomes are, are you getting what i'm saying now that's 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 the point the word of god that you can't see it does not mean it's not resting on you when it rests on you like a hen over her, her the eggs it will stay there until there is a performance this thing you see is not just power it's authority it's authority there is authority in the spirit it's not just power it's authority are you, are you getting what i'm saying now so it is it is a grace it's a gift that god can give a man he said for i am a man under authority i say to one go it's just that many of us just sit down and we keep watching I, be, the fact that you are here within this vicinity alone let me tell you whether you are inside or outside your life will never never be the same if i never get to touch you it's just that we are carnal we are carnal so we just feel that until you make contact with the man of god your life will not no 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 i don't have to give you a word of knowledge the anointing that you see this anointing through words through words i can speak to you like this the word of god carries the anointing do you understand it's not just until maybe you, you make contact and lay hands and some of those things are just psychological it is the power of god as i'm speaking over your life if you believe you will be surprised are we together now yes a miracle service and we may not have all the time to minister the way we want to but this word if all i do here is to just come and speak i told you about the creative dimension of prophecy men are made by the prophetic word that is on them what is on you is what compels creation to respond to you in a certain way a man can lay hands on you and not lay anything everybody ministers according to the dimension of his grace my dear this lady looking at me come the lord is saying i should tell you what happened to queen esther in the bible will happen to you i don't know who you are but the lord is saying i should tell you that what happened to adasa queen esther in the bible i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ so brothers and sisters i like your heart to be open the if you come here and you are prayed for i lay hands on you and you miss the prophetic sessions you really miss the miracle service you see that you miss the prophetic session help is coming hold on the lord is showing me something help is coming i'm seeing help is coming that's what the spirit of god is saying help is coming help is coming help is coming it will surprise you help is coming when god says help is coming it means people are coming men are coming men are coming i'm saying it again men are coming this is a word for somebody help is coming in the name of jesus christ the Lord is saying I should prophesy to someone it won't read June it won't read June this is what God is saying I don't even know what I'm saying listen God gave you a word God is saying you will not enter June without that miracle happening and in the name of Jesus Christ whoever that person is 
I release that word. Let there be a performance. Let there be a performance. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a performance. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a young man that came here. You, you are not based here. You came from another city and there is the call of God upon your life. But I'm seeing that not only is there a call of God upon your life, I'm seeing that there is an anointing. Mm -mm, I'm not saying you should come out. This is, there are many people that belong. Don't worry, the anointing will, will find you. There is an anointing. I've not done the impartation yet. But there is an anointing that is coming on that gentleman. It may spill over to others, but it's for one. You will go back. There is a revival within your territory that has been allocated to you, your person. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing of the Spirit find that person now. You may look ordinary, say the Spirit of God. But when my grace comes upon you, I will do wonders through your life. The Lord is saying you may look ordinary, but when my grace comes upon you. You see, the anointing of the Spirit is the maker of men. It is not about what they want to do. In the name of Jesus, whoever that gentleman is, I bring you into that grace. I bring you into that anointing by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is giving somebody a kind of anointing here. Listen, let me describe for you how it will work. If you hold someone's hand and pray on an issue, it is done. That's how the anointing will work. If at all you hold someone's hand, except you don't hold the hand of the person and pray for that person, whoever must carry this anointing, I stretch my hands now by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that anointing be so lavish upon your life you will see strange testimonies as you agree with people they will note you they will note you for commanding results through prayer hallelujah let's pray for finances just allow me We'll round up. I, I, I apologize already in advance. I will do this very fast. God is already visiting his people. Um, there is a grace for finances. I will continue to pray this until I see a manifestation of what I've seen in the spirit. Not only are there people here who are called just people, men like um, Ejimi, that are called into the ministry of kingdom finance. There are people who may not be called into that ministry but they are kingdom financiers because of that call and anointing upon their life the holy ghost will shift them in a certain way to grant them access you may look weak you may not have one naira in your pocket but listen i want you to believe me as i pray for you lord jesus where are these people that you are speaking to me about let the grace let the unction that makes for this kind of possibility let it be released upon them in the name of jesus christ let that grace be released upon them help him help him be sensitive gentleman please you would have injured him for nothing be sensitive huh in the name of jesus that grace i called him because the lord said i should minister to him that anointing is upon him i'm still praying there are people I'm seeing like coins being dropped on the hands of people in the spirit. This is, this is it, like a token of that grace, that call. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray now. Everywhere in this congregation and outside, if you are called into this ministry, I declare, Skopa Shalanda Sagateko Shalat. You may not look like it, but I release the grace on you. May the Lord align your understanding about finances. May he align your understanding about business in a strange and supernatural way that will cause you to command strange abundance. I declare that as a result of this prayer, God will connect you to strategic individuals. Strategic individuals.
Hallelujah. There are people here who have, please listen, we're rounding up. There are people here inside, outside. You have what we call the mantle of a savior. You may not be the firstborn in your family, but all the while a grace has been following you because you represent an altar. I'm going to pray right now. There are people, whether you are young or old, if that grace, if you are the one that represents the altar of God in your family, then it's time for that altar to begin to speak. Right now in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, for everyone here, Pako Satayata, Zegeteketo Shaliata, you represent the epicenter of the purposes of God in your family. I stir up that altar. I put fire upon that altar now. Let it begin to burn. That from your secret place, you begin to shift things in your family. From your secret place, you begin to command and manipulate realities from the realm of the spirit. I make it so. I declare it so. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then I know there might be many people. This may be the last personal case I'll deal with and then we'll pray. There might be many people here with this case. But there is a particular woman here. You are barren. You are a, there's a particular woman. Not that you are standing for someone. You, yourself. Please help them. have you been married 11 years 11 years no child madam yes. how long seven years seven years yes. 18 years in total you are standing here before the people of god because you believe that god can step in you madam 18 years you've Eight. been barren for how long 18 years 18 years yes. you yes Madam, will you believe if I tell all three of you that according to the time of life, you will return with your children? No, 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 no. It's not amen. The question is, will you believe? Will you believe it? Madam, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jushi. Where is that? Jushi at the back of enemies. Where are you coming from, madam? You are coming from Kaduna? Yes, sir. Who is this lady? Are you married? You've been barren too? Yes, sir. You too, madam? Please, if you are not married, don't come out here. If you are coming out for... If you are, if you, if someone you are standing for, just remain there. Please remain. If you are standing for someone, I will pray. But if it is for yourself, madam, you too? Look at me. You are trusting God? How long have you been married? I've been married for like five years, but I have a child, but I've been trying for like three years now. You have a child yes, already? Sir. You yes, just sir. want another one? Yes, sir. It's all right. I'll pray for you. These ones don't have any. The devil is a liar. Madam, don't be embarrassed. You are not standing before. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You too. You too. You are trusting God. How long have you been married? Yes. Two years. No, you you had a child, you were even rejoicing, and you had a miscarriage. Yes. When? Last year. Last year. Yes. And from that time, this has affected you. Yes, I have to pray. There's something wrong with your stomach. Yes. The doctor already told you. I wouldn't say it in the open, but then this is what is killing the baby. Hold on, madam. Um, you had miscarriage. Not even in, tw in 2000 and 
in 2014. Child, uh, That's what I'm you had a, they had to go and remove the baby. Yes. Because the baby died inside pieces, your stomach. Yes. The baby pieces like yes. this inside your stomach. Yes, sir. God is going to give you a child. Amen. My dear, look at me, this lady. The mercy of God needs to speak for you. You, you love Jesus. You love Jesus. I'll pray for you. But you are not in need of child. What you need is mercy. The mercy of God. Many of us don't know what the mercy of God is. The mercy of God is not for sinners. The mercy of God is his dimension that causes him to veto whatever limitation it is to come to help you. So when we say mercy, it's not just because you have to be a sinner. There are certain dimensions of God that are only revealed to you at the platform of his mercy. He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. I want to pray and prophesy to all of you and agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please go back and tell your various husbands that you were prayed for. I, I love men. I respect husbands. But many husbands don't love Jesus. They don't know Jesus. After their wives return like this and say, my husband, we just went for a program. They don't know what program. And they cancel out all of these things. It takes two to agree. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ, madam, put your hand in your stomach. I take away this demonic thing. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus, it disappears. Madam, I pray for you. The Lord opens your womb. In the name of Jesus, madam, by the grace of God, you carry your child. In the name of Jesus Christ, I remove every growth from your stomach. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you return with your miracle. Madam, look at me. God is going to use you. Amen. You are not just going to give birth to a child. The hand of God is on your life. It doesn't look like it, but there is nothing in this life that will ever satisfy you except the service of God. You will love God and serve Him. And with this miracle God is going to give you, every other woman you pray for over the issue of the fruit of the womb, you will see that God will open up your soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you will arise and have mercy upon this, my precious sister. In the name of Jesus. The voice of accusation that speaks against you, I silence it by the mystery of the blood. Now go and have your child. It's over in the name of Jesus Christ. It's over, my dear. Look at me. Go and prepare. You have a child now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the grace of God speak for you. Madam, I pray for you. Help her, please. It's over right now. Carry your child in Jesus' name. Please stretch your hands towards the altar. And let's pray stretch your hands in one minute you for yourself madam okay in the name of Jesus Christ it's all right madam no problem in the name of Jesus Christ I pray um, you are trusting God for a child in the name of Jesus Christ somebody's sister is going to have twins hold on hold on hold on the power of God will come on that person now as I'm speaking. For the sake of your sister, carrying twins. This is twins. The Lord himself. Hmm. There's one more person left. I'm hearing the voice of children, babies, crying. When it stops, then I know that it's over. I'm still, hold on. I'm still hearing it. There is still one more person, family. I'm like I'm hearing the voice of children Lord in the name of Jesus wherever that family is I pray that you locate them right now by the spirit of the living God you locate them right now you locate them right now I'm still praying you locate them right now in the name of Jesus 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 stretch your hands and let's pray please begin to pray one minute and say father whatever I have dropped here just keep her there I'll pray for her that's all right begin to pray in the spirit and declare that whatever you have dropped here turns to your testimony 
in the name of Jesus, I'm laying hands here and I'm agreeing with you. Shalakato prakato zeze me akashi anakatos. Ende leketo sabragato si atakato shafranda hasi anabaladash. Impossible situations. Mabrakato zadia shana hasana malakatos. Rekete kete kebara hasosia. Embragato shalabarakatos kade brende kete kalatosiata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Mabreza gado janeke lando safria hasabadash. Please pray. Lord, turn around our captivities like the streams in the negative. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let them say among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. We sow prayers in tears and we declare that we reap in joy. Lord, I bow my knees to you and I cry, visit your people, visit your people, visit your people, visit your people, visit your people. Hallelujah. This prayer you see we pray here is a very deep spiritual mystery. It's not a ritual it's a revelation sometimes when i travel and i go the lord instructs me to do the same thing there and the amazing testimonies this for me is one of the most thorough ways of ministering to people because this is a summation of the your truest desires because you wrote them by yourself is a representation of your pain and your expectations this is you standing before god through your request and i decree and declare as i stand and step upon this request i declare rise above every challenge in the name of jesus christ the same way i'm stepping on this in the name of jesus that is how you are stepping on every situation i turn every request in this place into your testimony in the name of jesus christ hear me some of you it will be like you are dreaming the way you will see doors open in your life in the name of jesus christ every impossible situation represented here i cry to the god who is the god of this ministry that he will arise in power and surprise you for all those who have dropped their request online in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that is visiting these requests is visiting their request in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Spirit let there be miracles in Jesus name please lift your hands everyone let me pray for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ listen you see every ministry let me tell you this it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true every ministry rises and stops at the spiritual level of lifting of the man of god wherever you stop spiritually as a man of god that's where the ministry rises it's impossible to lead a ministry that is higher than your own level of grace and anointing it doesn't work that way it can't work sustainably that means that when the man of God shifts in anointing and rises it means that everyone genuinely committed to that grace and that vision not based on your personal um, your personal press but by the implication of connection you should also rise do, do we agree do you believe that yes I have seen the grace and the glory of God and the authority of the kingdom multiply and rise in my life this year like never before and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus right there where you are inside and outside and all those connected wherever you are spiritually i prophesy to you rise and i shift you to a new dimension i shift you to a new dimension you have walked in miracles before 
but in the name of Jesus may your hand do wonders you have taught the word accurately before but in the name of Jesus may your tongue from tonight become the pen of a ready writer in the name of Jesus Christ you have handled some level of finances before but I shift you into figures that you have never seen before in the name of Jesus Christ you have experienced favor before but I stand here in the name of Jesus and I declare a new order of favor you have had God before but I program your ears to hear deeper dimensions of the voice of God. I pray for everyone here inside and outside the mantle that causes men to be honorable may that grace come upon you may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ listen this ministry has never gone up and come down never not once it keeps going from glory to glory I declare let that be the definition of your life from today spiritually financially academically for those who are students I decree and declare the grace for extraordinary excellence I release upon you the grace for extraordinary excellence I release upon you anyone here trusting God for a job a noble job I stretch my hands between now and next miracle service return with your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ and anyone here due for promotion I decree and declare by the finger of God step into a new dimension of promotion the fire that is upon your altar that is the secret of your life the secret of every man's glory is the fire that burns upon his altar when nothing is burning you will just be a talkative for nothing you will read and teach and nothing will happen i pray for you in the name of jesus the mystery that preserves fire upon the altars of men let it work for you let it work for you i found the coals of your prayer life i found the coals of your spiritual life I find the cause of your word life this is a prayer many people don't desire I pray for a baptism of spiritual hunger I say it again a baptism of spiritual hunger that the Lord will expand your appetite for spiritual things every kind of arrival mentality every kind of spiritual complacency where there is no imp there is no desire to press for the deeper things of god satisfied by the little results here and there i declare that the lord plants a fresh hunger the hunger that can take you on a three days fast just to study the word and pray in the name of Jesus Christ some of us the grace to fast has died you fast by 10 you are yawning your life away and you can't pray I pray for you now in the name of Jesus the spirit of gluttony and uncontrolled lust for food I curse it from your life in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you in this strange season where God is lifting men and changing their stories as I'm praying for you I'm praying this one for myself too in the name of Jesus may you rise to a level where all those who knew you will turn and say this one is the finger of God in the name of Jesus Christ I'm calling on people who want to surrender their heart to Jesus now. Please, everyone stand. Please, everyone stand. No move. Let me tell you something. One of the assignments of the church 
is to harvest souls for the kingdom we must be passionate and desperate and intentional about souls coming to jesus are we together there are people here who are saying apostle if you will lead me to jesus i'm not too proud i'm not a rebel i can come to him genuinely please listen carefully overflow three overflow two one by the roadside and those who are following online the church is gradually becoming very very unresponsive to the need for salvation you are a man of god here take the issue of the salvation of souls seriously if you are not saving souls as a church you are this in fact is sin it's not just wrong it's not just disobedience it's sin it is important that we continue to partner with the spirit that people come to jesus it's not just a ritual to show we are spiritual it is the only way that their lives can be salvaged first eternally and then to live a life of victory here are we together there are people here you may have been born from a christian background a number of you love jesus christ but you are saying man of god i have never truly made a commitment for jesus i have i've seen people do all this but tonight i want to make that decision some of you are saying man of god i love jesus but i need a renewal in my life i just need a fresh touch i know that my life is not the way it used to be and i want to straighten out my ways with god if you are here and you belong to these two categories aside from overflow three i'll just request for time's sake that you move forward to the front of your projector screen overflow one overflow two the roadside and inside here i want you to come out right where i am here wherever you are god bless you quickly please we have one minute for this wherever you are jesus is speaking to you you must be born again no one will force you but you have to win this war tonight you have to win this war tonight god bless you quickly come boldly come like one who is coming to receive an award don't come as if you are attending a funeral this is a miracle of miracles god bless you apostle what if people know me and they see me leave all those people this is the business of you and god make your way to the front quickly those coming from outside please let's clear the way for them so that they hurry up let's clear the way for them god bless you god bless you as you come quickly god bless you as you come you need jesus please don't come out here to pretend come out genuinely from your heart you must be born again every single one of us had to pass through that process jesus said i am the door not a door the door the door the only door every other route is a, is, is is not correct you have to follow through the door hallelujah thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for coming out to make this declaration i want you to know that this is a very noble declaration lift your right hand after me and say this passionately and truthfully say lord jesus if you're joining them please come quickly join them say lord jesus i love you say it again i love you with all my heart i believe that you are the son of god that you died for me you shed your blood for my sin tonight i receive you i receive your life i as i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life in the name of jesus i move forward ever and backward never the grace to stay the grace to grow the grace to be useful is mine tonight in jesus name lord jesus i stretch my hands towards these precious people they have come before your people making declarations making commitments to live for you to love you to serve you i pray that the grace that makes this a possibility let it be released upon their lives in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven i declare that the power of sin the power of satan is broken over your life you go from glory to glory in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i appreciate you i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you just follow him in concert there will be a group of people to just talk to you address you very quickly